Okay, I've been tagged by Brian. Probably a good idea because I haven't done videos in a while. I haven't had a lot of gigs coming up. I've got one on this weekend though. But here we go. This is the uh, five fact facts about me. And I'll have to work out who I'm going to tag a little later. Okay, first up, I grew up in Melbourne. I was born in Melbourne, grew up around Melbourne. Um, now I pretty much just live, live on the eastern, oh, eastern, uh, on the outskirts of uh, Melbourne. And yeah, I've lived out here most of my life. And I love living out here. It's a great town. It's got everything you could possibly want. It's really good. Okay, uh, number two. Alright, um, ever since I was probably 15, I was about 14 or 15, I got my first drum kit. And I uh, started learning drums. Then first year of high school, I started getting involved with other musicians, getting involved with bands. Uh, that was, you know, awesome. It got me out of uh, a lot of things out, out of school because uh, we were actually with a school teacher. He was like a part of the band. It was really good because we could call him by his first name um, when we were jamming or doing gigs or, or whatever. That was really cool. So, yeah, the whole band thing, uh, I played drums, played bass, guitar, I sang. I had a few years there of being in bands. I was in probably six or seven different bands, some originals, some covers. Did a few gigs around Melbourne and Ballarat area. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. That's what sort of got me into the whole music side of things of where I am right now. Okay, number three. I have done all sorts of jobs. Uh, would you believe I was a truck detailer? And believe me, yeah, that was, um, that was lots of fun. Been a truck dealer. Working uh, 12 to 14 hours a day with virtually no breaks, weren't allowed to stop, could barely stop for even lunch. Um, yeah, I hated that job. I had to use acid and all this sort of stuff with no protective gear. Ended up leaving because, well, it was just too dangerous. Uh, so I was a security guard for about two years. Um, won't go back to that job. I carried a, a pistol. All that sort of fun stuff. I felt more safer not carrying firearms than I felt carrying a firearm. So yeah, through, basically you couldn't pay me enough to do that job. So that job went. Um, and also, yeah, ended up working for a, a DJ company. There's been some other jobs in between there, and, but uh, working for a DJ company, which I'll get to in a minute. Number four. I'm a big one for um, home theatre sound. I love movies. I'm just obsessed with, with movies. I've got a very large DVD collection. Love me movies. Um, with like my home theatre system, I've got uh, it's like a, a five metre screen. Uh, I run a Moran sound system, which is 7.1 sound, um, THX, DDS, DDS EX, Dolby Digital ES, you know, the whole works. Because I'm massively into the way I said, if you're going to watch a movie, I was watching on a big screen with massive sound. No wonder I become a DJ, hey, with loving loud sounds. Okay, number five, what got me here today? I initially started out where I was driving down the street one day, this is a few years ago, and went past this shop, and I saw all these speakers and all this sort of stuff in the windows, and naturally enough I thought it was a home theatre shop, having speakers that size and everything. So I went in there, and it's like, um, guy comes over and I said, oh, you see, can I help you? I said, what kind of a shop is this? And he said, oh, it's a DJ store. You know, we hire our DJs and have the equipment. What can I help you with? I said, how about a job? Bang. There you go. That's how I got into this. So I worked for him for about uh, two and a half years. He taught me a lot. I really didn't know a lot. I mean, I'd done parties for other people, but I didn't know a lot about uh, the whole being a DJ and all that sort of thing. So he taught me a lot there. Then ended up, uh, we sort of crossed a bit, and then I went off and worked at another place called Storage King, and I thought, now nah, blow this. Got a heap of cash together, and bought a heap of equipment. And then bang, sat around one day, thought, what are we gonna call this? Come up with a bunch of names, and just, off the top of my head, Midnight Sounds. Even though people say to me, does that mean you only play music at midnight? I'm like, yeah, alright, if you're going to pay me to be here from midnight from 12 o'clock to 12.01, no worries, here's Midnight Sounds. But no, it just kind of... So there's that. That's my uh, five points there. Brian, thank you for tagging me. 
and you've got to give me a reason to make a video here anyway. So that's about it. I'll have to think of uh, five people to tag. Uh, I know one I wouldn't mind, uh, Z-Man. Uh, he's really cool. He's got some uh, great, like, LED lighting, things like that. It's, you know, fantastic. He's got really cool stuff, like these big player, well, big plate things or whatever they are, um, all LED lighting and stuff. Uh, great stuff. So he's one that I'll tag, but I'll have to think of about another four. But anyway, guys, there's my five points. I'll be tagged. So, practice and enjoy, guys. I'll see you. I actually will be doing a video just Saturday night. I've got a 30th at the Deer Park Club again, which I've done a couple of videos there. Anyway, I'm also going to be there in a couple of weeks to do another karaoke night. So, there you go. There's my five points. Bye, guys. And as usual, Bourbon! How to please a man. Oh, I, I wasn't making a point, I was just low on potassium.